Hello, welcome to part 79 of Laravel 9 series in which we are going to create the multi vendor e commerce website. In fact, we are creating the multi vendor e commerce website. So, uh, we are going to work on the product filter once again. And in this video, we are going to work on the price filter. In last video, we have seen that we are able to work on the color filter. We are able to see that we are able to display the color of the products that we are getting in the page, in the listing page like we have uh, see if we check the blue color on, on only the blue color t-shirts will get displayed uh, like red red and blue also red blue and green also okay so now we are going to work on the price filter but uh, we are going to show in this way only we are not going to work on the slider slider we are going to do later on in the series uh, but right now we are going to display like 0 to 1000, 1000 to 2000, 2000 to 5000, like this kind of display we are going to work on. Okay, so I'm going to dis uh, disable these things that uh, shipping and rating are not required here. So that also we are going to work on, but not right now. That uh, we are going to work with the advanced filter. When we are going to work on the advanced filter, advanced level of this multi vendor e-commerce website, then we are going to work on, okay, later on in the series. So I am going to disable uh, this one. So I am going to close first of all the earlier files and will open the sidebar uh, once again. Uh, sidebar uh, in front, okay. Uh, no, this sidebar here. I think some other file filters dot blade dot php file. Uh, here it is uh, front here. Yeah. So here I am going to disable the unwanted things that we are not required right now like uh, this one filter price this filter price is not required at this time along with this shipping option and along with this rating option okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to disable uh, this one uh, from here to here all these filters options So see now, now it's fine. Uh, I think uh, I think other options are also gone away. Uh, let me see. Price uh, shipping. No, it's fine. Okay. okay so uh, we can see here uh, we are having the size color okay brand we are going to do in future videos in upcoming video okay and uh, sleeve fabric uh, okay so all are working fine now uh, we are going to work on the price filter so uh, what i'm going to do here yeah, it will work in the same way like brand so i'm going to copy this one and we'll paste it here and we'll make it price and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep one label, input type label, just one is enough. And uh, I'm going to make the array of prices, okay. I'm going to take one dollar prices array, in which I'm going to add all the required prices, okay. Like 0 to 1000 and 1000 to 2000, like this. 2000 to 5000 you can add as per your own requirement 2000 to 5000 5000 to 10000 and 10000 to whatever like 1 lakh because we know that uh, our prices will not exceed that number so 1 lakh is the maximum limit because online limit is having some limitation you can't uh, purchase uh, more than one lakh order online uh, from e-commerce store okay there is some uh, kind of uh, limitation by the government by every government like indian government uh, uh, government of usa or england and anywhere you will go you can't purchase like you will say you are going to purchase uh, some 5000 million kind of product it means so much expensive product it is not possible at all okay maybe some uh, 
multi vendor stores uh, do that uh, that may be having the exceptional case may be having the special permission but uh, up till this amount is maximum amount that we are talking about so we are going to display it like this okay so uh, so here uh, we are going to uh, add the for each loop to display these prices as dollar price we are going to take the key dollar price and for it okay so this one we are not required at this time so here we are going to display the price like this so here uh, we are going to display the, the id as well uh, with dollar key okay what we can do we can just make it price and then use dollar key like this and in class also we require the price class so that we can uh, work on our jquery on the click of this class on the check of this class okay and its name and value name will be price array price can be multiple selection multiple check uh, check uh, by the user and value is the price okay this one fine now we are going to check here refresh and we are going to see the prices option okay so it's working fine like this okay so now we uh, will add its jquery okay like 0 to 1000 1000 to 2000 2000 to okay so you can also display its currency like this one if you want to display the currency you can also display it like this okay whatever its dollar or rupees whatever it is you can simply display okay so it is displaying like this it is clear like uh, uh, from 0 to 1000 or 1000 to 2000 what kind of t-shirt uh, the customer wants to buy okay or you can add your own like 0 to 500 option as well okay it's up to you that what you want to add okay so now we are going to work on its uh, uh, jquery so open the scripts bit file once again here we are going to add its jquery in the same way like we have added the color now we are going to add uh, the price filter here okay so here we are going to add the price price filter that will work with the uh, price class and here we are going to add uh, add it as well price and this one here also price okay so here also everywhere we are going to add okay not only here we need to add this price everywhere so that uh, uh, it will work with all the filters for the sort also make sure to add it everywhere okay so dynamic filters also that are coming from the md panel here also we are going to add the price done now we are going to work on its uh, listing function where it will go in front listing function. first of all we are going to display this one in last time we have not displayed it is better to debug our code uh, so that we uh, what we are getting uh, so it will really help us okay so we will make it debugging mode on because uh, we need to do few things for the prices here so uh, when i will check this one zero to thousand option uh, it is not updating and not doing anything uh, now i'm going to try once again after refreshing the page let's check it 0 to 1000 and here you can see that we are able to get this time the correct value 0 to 1000 
so i am going to select the uh, one thousand to two thousand as well so we get the multiple values in price array we get both zero two thousand and thousand to two thousand so one thing we need to do here we need to this is the minimum zero like if the customer uh, selects the uh, two option so we need to get the minimum value and the maximum value so from the minimum and from the maximum we need to get uh, need to display the products uh, so uh, 0 is the minimum and 2000 is the maximum we are going to take these values and uh, but uh, from uh, before that uh, we will implode this and we'll get them all in one string and then uh, we'll explode once again uh, to array so that uh, every value will go in one element like 0 in 0th element then first uh, then second okay uh, like this okay so uh, what we are going to do uh, here I'm going to once again uh, here add checking for price this is the easiest option that I am working on later on I'm going to modify this code okay we are going to modify this code and also we'll do the price range filter in advanced filters but this is the most easiest way uh, that we are doing right now okay so first the uh, filter will work in the same way okay for saving i'm just doing uh, for saving the time okay so this one uh, i can remove now uh, okay so fine now see uh, first we are going to implode implode price implode prices uh, we are going to use the implode function uh, because uh, we want to make one uh, string uh, that uh, is uh, differentiated with hyphen okay separated with the hyphen everything will get separated with the hyphen okay like two elements two array elements are there we are going to implode this array array of price uh, with this hyphen okay so uh, it will convert to string and uh, I'm going to uh, show you the string what will happen it will become one string here uh, with hyphen as the separator so let's check it like if I'm going to select this uh, uh, range okay you can see 0 thousand has come up here like this one okay so uh, all will separate with the hyphen okay so that is fine that we require so now i'm going to work on the explored prices now the explored will work as there is the hyphen in between every price we are going to use the explore now once again for the hyphen so that every uh, price you will convert uh, into element of an array so now if we are going to check this one so we will get every price in separate array a separate uh, sorry array element okay we get this in array uh, these four prices in an array okay so let's see uh, now I am going to show you like uh, if uh, I select this 0 to 1000, 0 thousand has come, 1000 2000 has come like this okay, 5000 to 10000 has come okay. So we are going to take the minimum and the maximum value and we are going to display all in between these values. See no one will do like this like 5000 to 10000 no one will do like this. Customers will just uh, uh, check like 0 to 1000 or 1000 to 2000 uh, like customer want the products uh, up till 2000 or up till uh, between 0 to 1000 or between 1000 to 2000 or between 0 to 2000 like this but uh, not like this the customer want the product either between 0 to 2000 or between 10000 to 1 lakh this is practically uh, not uh, possible uh, by any of the customer but Whereas we are going to work on the price range filter and I am going to modify this filter uh, because if I am going to work 
uh, that in advance level it will become very complex okay so uh, what i am going to do here i am going to take the minimum value of this one a minimum will come in reset is the function of array that will uh, pick the starting value okay and uh, i am going to pick the maximum value as well and maximum for maximum value and is the function that will uh, pick the last value okay like this so i am going to use these values in the uh, this one this one i'm going to copy from here in the query uh, where i am going to use here where between not where in now i'm going to use the where between uh, instead of product color now there will be the product price and uh, we are going to use here uh, we have two options here now uh, two uh, one dollar min and uh, one is dollar max okay we are as we are using the where between so we are going to show like uh, price that must be between uh, this to this okay like this okay now uh, after that plug id to array will remain the same okay so let's see that this one will work or not i'm going to check now uh, okay so i'm going to select between 0 to 1000 okay so this one will not come 1800 rupees product will not come okay 2000 rupees product will not come here you can see it is gone away if i will select both both the products are coming now if i will deselect this one then only 1000 and 1800 rupees product is coming now okay so it is working fine these price filters are working like this okay it is working fine you can see okay and also it will work with the other filters as well in the next video we are going to work on the brand filters okay then i then we are going to uh, finish up this filters part and we'll start working on the other things we are going to work on the detail page where we are going to display the vendor details as well and also we are going to work on the vendor login okay very soon we are going to work on the vendor login and how the vendor is going to add his own products uh, from the admin panel and how they are going to display and vendor shop as well okay so much more vendor uh, is coming very soon okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye